Look Tomac at Eli. Looks, he is right there. And he looks comfortable doing it. I can tell. Ken's put AC the little look. He didn't know who was going where or what. Now we got Lapis in the way. And this always makes things interesting. Look Tomac at this. Tomac. inside. Now he's starting to show the wheel. Oh, he's got the lap rider to deal with, though. That's going to slow him up. Here's that big downhill. They're calling it Mount Martin. And maybe the first time today we've really seen two riders battling for it on this hill. Here we, we go. The fans coming to life. Tomac to the inside. Side by side. Roxon's outside line worked a little better, but you could tell. A couple of laps, Tomac is back there waiting, watching. Now he wants to go for it. Hey, I'm, I'm, now I'm telling you 100%. He knows exactly who's there. Because he saw the red three right next to him. So now we can take out that does he know who it is question right it's now. Obvious. He knows exactly who it is. And, right, and Kenny wants to win. Because he knows, hey, the best thing that could happen, I win and I gain five more points on Ryan Dungey. That's right. Third. If he gets passed by uh, Tomac, it's a two-point difference. So he doesn't, you know, want that. You know, I mean, racers want to win, but you have to be smart and, and, and methodical at times. But Roxon's obviously running as hard as he can. And at this point, Tomac has not been able to find a way around it. But I think with over six minutes plus two laps and the way Eli looks, I think it's inevitable that he is, will start forcing the issue late in the race. Look at this. He's forcing the inside. Right side by side. These are sad whoops we talk about every year at Millville. So critical. Ah, Tomac was unable to make it happen. Different rhythm there. Yep. And it worked. Tomac had a better run in, but Roxon had a better run out. So he was able to hold that position. But... Oh, Tomac trying to go around the outside. He's got the inside here. Oh, I didn't think he'd be able to make that work. In fact, he had lost ground of the whoops. He comes right back. Outside line. Slingshot. Side by side. They're going to scrub together. Roxon scrubs it harder, and he gets to the ground. He gets a wheel on the ground sooner and able to get the power to the ground. Retains that lead, but the fans are on their feet. Absolutely. I'm excited. I'm like shaking. I don't know what's going to happen here, but look at this. They come up Mount Martin again. Now Tomac had a line down to the inside of the entrance oh, yeah. corner at the top. Let's see if he can get there. Look at him scrubbing he set everything. himself up. Here we go. He's got it. That's the line he tried to lap and go, and this time it works. He like Tomac into the lead. Roxon's going to try to outbreak Whoa. him downhill. Look he at this. Really into the bumps. Roxon scrubs it. And Tomac. it worked. Roxon, and again, first time they've ever had that downhill at this track, at least a downhill that long. And Roxon, he just willed himself Whoa, back in the he lead He did. There. He did, Jason. That's exactly the right words. He willed himself, just like Tomac is going, I want to lead. I'm tired of pulling tear offs and eating your roost. All right. You the Hooters, the fans. <laughs> Huge crowd here. Little chicane, left and right. Who's going to come out better? Oh! Oh! Lapis getting not in the way, but affecting their line choices. Roxon made a little mistake. I thought Tomac was going to have him. He made a small mistake, yep. but look at this. Back Tomac, to the, back inside. To the inside. Outside line going to work better for Roxon here. Time continues to click off. Four minutes and two laps left in this one. So we're talking uh, probably about four laps left. Five according to the mechanic <laughs> for Roxon. Kenny Lumgear yeah, there, yep. actually a, a, a friend of mine growing up in South Africa racing, as is the mechanic Ken Roxon. Serious oh. business here. Nice line on the outside for Tomac. Roxon's going to try to square back up. Side by side again. Finally, Tomac has the lead and can make it stick. Wow. Eli Ooh. Tomac, just relentless. We know his dad, you know, arguably the best downhill mountain biker of all time. These guys work hard. They train hard. They're a tight family. And look, now that he's got him, yeah, I it's think, done. I think he's going to break him. I think he's going to just keep pushing and check out. And this is what we talked about. Can he get 100% healthy to go and win? And he's showing it right now that when he's fit and healthy, he can. Oh, yeah, he's proven it in a big way. Stalking Ken Roxon, getting around a fantastic battle. Now let's see if Tomac can hang on.